So, I mean, one of the things that we're working very hard on, we're not the finished unit as yet, I think we've still got a lot to learn. I think, uh, I mean, Bangladesh have played well today. They've come out and they've put pressure back on the bowlers, and we've seen that with the intent to score, and they've made life difficult for us. Um, and I think we bowl well in patches, and then there were periods where obviously we could have bowled better. I don't think we quite had the consistency in this innings as we showed in the first innings with the ball. Uh, but thankfully, the hard work we've done prior to that has still put us in a very strong position, obviously, going into tomorrow. For two test series that the fast bowlers have taken the most number of wickets for Sri Lanka, 20 plus wickets, um, how, did you, how do you assess their uh, performance in this series? I think this series has been absolutely fantastic. Um, I think we've seen some good skill levels from the boys. Uh, we've seen a lot of heart, uh, a lot of determination, a lot of passion, uh, which is something that is, is very good. And I think they're learning all the time as well. They're learning how to bowl in different conditions. Uh, obviously, we had a completely different style of pitch in the last test match to our this one, so they've had to change the way that they go about things. And I think they've adapted very well. So for me, they're growing. Uh, we're not the finished unit as yet. I think we've still got a lot to learn. But the great thing is that they're embracing that and they're improving all the time. Uh, especially uh, them bowling well in the yeah. middle of the week. That must have been more pleasing because they'll have bigger challenges coming up. But, I mean, to bowl well in the subcontinent <coughs> is much more pleasing. It is. I mean, it shows that, I mean, one of the things that we're working very hard on is and patience and discipline. I know it's talked about a lot, obviously, in the previous few days. But again, it's a skill that we need. And if it's something that you can acquire, you can then be successful anywhere in the world. Uh, if you possess them skills, when you get on green wickets at a seam, and it makes you even more dangerous. Uh, but it's something you certainly need on, on wickets such as this. You need to better you hold your line of length, ask good questions, and do it for a long period of time. And it means strangle that run rate. We saw in the first innings when we got the run rate under three, that life became very difficult, the pressure was on the batsman, it was on the opposition and we forced errors. Uh, what we've seen today is obviously Bangladesh have not allowed us to do that and the run rate has stayed up around 3.9, which means that they're pushing back, they're putting pressure back on us. Uh, but again, it's, I mean, it's a good learning curve for us um, and something where obviously we can take a lot of lessons out of. Uh, coach, uh, Nayib Kumar, talk about Nayib Kumar. Uh, he played back to back matches. Uh, now he's living into rhythm. Uh, we saw in the first test and this test. Uh, as a coach, uh, how do you see his performance in these two test matches? I think mean, he's certainly made an impact, hasn't he? And that's one of the things we want from him as an impact player. He's come in, he's got wickets at important times, uh, and he's bowled some fantastic deliveries. <clears throat> and that's why he's been great for him. He's, he's done it throughout. Every time he comes on, he's looked dangerous. Uh, which is superb and it's something that obviously we want to continue with him, continue to develop him uh, and I think the more and more he plays, the better he's going to get. Any update on uh, Dinesh Chandigarh? Listen, uh, Dinesh has had to go home for personal reasons and it's certainly something I'm not going to go into obviously tonight.